dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. Nigerian former president Olusegun Obasanjo has inadvertently dismissed speculations that he is not a Yoruba man. Obasanjo, in his book titled My Watch, Volume 2, Political and Public Affairs, said his two parents were from Owu in Abeokuta, Ogun State. A chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, Senator Anthony Adefuye, recently claimed that the father of the former Nigerian leader was Igbo, but that he was born of a Yoruba woman. Adefuye had in an interview with a national daily said, among other things, some people may argue that what about Obasanjo? Obasanjo is not a Yoruba man. He is an Igbo man from the southeast. His father was from Anambra, while his mother was a Yoruba man. Was a Yoruba woman, I beg your pardon. And that was why during his tenure, he completely ignored the southwest. For example, throughout his eight years, he did nothing on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Some Yoruba leaders had in 2007 also alleged that Obasanjo's biological father was not a Yoruba man. According to them, his father was Onyekwelu from Onecha in Anambra State. And so his reign as president between 1999 and 2007, should be viewed as an Igbo reign. But Obasanjo, in his 675-page book, described himself as a thoroughbred Yoruba man. He said, to be a Nigerian, I have to be born somewhere in Nigeria, or be of Nigerian parentage, or one must naturalize. If the other can hide their identity, I cannot because my two parents were from Owu in Abeokuta. And you cannot be more Yoruba than an Owu man as the first child and daughter of Odudua. The father of Yorubas was the mother of all Owus. What is more, I bear Owu tribal marks. And better or worse still, I speak English with my Owu dialect. I have always maintained and felt proud of my Owu-ness, Yoruba-ness and Nigerian-ness in that order. They are all part of my cherished identity. But I always refused and will always refuse to be constrained diminished or reduced to the level of Yoruba leadership. Without being immodest, I am a national leader, an African leader, and a world leader in my own way. If a Yoruba meeting is called on an important issue of concern to the Yorubas and I am invited, I will go, but will not sit on the high table unless I joined in convening the meeting. But I would expect that a seat on the high table would be reserved for me if such, meeting, if such a meeting is a national meeting. There are Yorubas of the mentality that if they cannot permanently rule Nigeria, then Nigeria should be broken up in the euphemism of confederacy. They would rather be rulers in the hell 
if they cannot be rulers in heaven. They are mainly those who see themselves as their as who see themselves as her apparent to chief Obafemi Awolowo. I neither share their philosophy nor their mindset. Some of them contributed to putting Bola Tinubu in power, and in spite of lagis of houses in Victoria Island built for them by Bola, they turned against him when the flow of lagis started to dry up. They are the same people who claimed that I denied being a Yoruba man. I am more Yoruba than all of them. The Ijebus among them must be reminded that the Awujale asserted that they are not from Ife. The crowd of Yorubas but from Wadia. Those who are crying more than they believed like Olaniwu Ajayi and Femi Okunromu are self-centered and lack integrity. When there was need, in the interest of justice and fairness, to speak or act as to act on behalf of the Yorubas, I have done so, but not against overall Nigerian interest or against the interest of any other group for that matter. I have also spoken out or stood up for other groups or communities of the interest of justice and fairness. But on no account will the interest and integrity of Nigeria be sacrificed. Obasanjo further said he rejected a request by two senior Yoruba retired soldiers to lead the western region out of Nigeria which would be similar to what the late Chukwemeka Odumegu Ojuku tried to do for the Southeast and failed. In the confusion of the post-second coup in 1966 and early 1967, I joined the senior Yoruba officers in the military to present our positions to Yakubu Gawon in the interest of the nation and of the West. When during the Abacha era and before I was arrested, two senior retired Yoruba officers, a Navy, a Navy and Army officers, called on me at my farm to lead the West out of Nigeria. I did not take it kindly with their request. I said, God's judgment in me if I ever do what will be swift and decisive. He would ask those who died as a result of my fighting for the unification of Nigeria to line up and hold one hand and those that will die fighting for the West to secede from Nigeria to line up and hold the other hand and pull me until I will be caught into two. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? It is being debated and argued that uh, Obasanjo is not a Yoruba man and that his father was an Igbo man. Who would have imagined or thought that this uh, narrative or argument or position would actually come out to bear? Well, it is what it is. Obasanjo has come out to debunk it and deny that he is from the Southeast. He has said that his, both of his parents are from Abiokuta and they bear the Owul tribal marks. What are your thoughts concerning this particular issue as it were? Do you agree with Obasanjo on this particular one? Well, it remains to be seen. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? For those that are claiming that Obasanjo is from the southeast, do you think that they have any um, evidence to prove or claim? If Obasanjo is from the Southeast, don't you think that he probably should know better? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold. Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. 
Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.